What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my own ass out with me. <laughs> so, y'all, we're about to get into Jazz. Uh, I FaceTime her randomly, but she declined my call. She, uh, this is like 10 minutes into the video. She preaching. Oh, here go the, the call. Hold on. I'm going to FaceTime her real quick. We finna see what she on. It's Sonic, man, stop playing with me. I ain't never too bougie, baby. <laughs> so look, y'all, y'all been hounding me, hounding me, hounding me, hounding me by tape looking. So I'm finna FaceTime her real quick. We finna see what she on. That's even if she answers. I'm really scared to press the damn FaceTime joint. Oh, God. All right, bro. I ain't talked to this girl in so long, bro. This shit feel weird. Because we've been texting, but we ain't talking on the phone. I'm going to tell I ain't got no haircut. Oh! Oh, oh shit. Damn! Yeah, fuck it. We gonna see if she gonna call me back though. She might be doing something. She took she that nigga straight to the voice. Let's see man. if she gonna call me back. If she call me back, y'all go see. Y'all stay tuned, bro. I ain't gonna call it back, but you know what I'm saying. I'm waiting. She call me. Oh look, you know what I'm saying. I'm texting. Texting. Straight she to the voicemail. Great. Yesterday. That's probably why she just didn't answer the phone. I really didn't get that. You feel me? I didn't get that call, or if it came, I didn't get that. Like, it's crazy because I got two weird calls just today, unknown call. But I don't know why her shit coming in unknown. Like, we don't got each other blocked. That shit was weird. And I ignored the first call, and I picked up the second call, bro. Yeah, it is. So she ignored you because you like, ignored her. I didn't her. say nothing, but I mm -hmm. heard a girl speak. And then I thought he saying that she hung up. But like, All right, that, that was the unknown call. Face time, girl. You know, don't tell me like that. Don't tell me like that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Right now. All right, hold on. It's 8.05. In the morning, yeah, I got enough gas. And I so these are the type of vlogs that I can absolutely start doing now for y'all. Um, we are working on our couples ones right now too, as we speak. Uh, that's why we have our assistant Kia who's working on those. So yeah, yeah, a lot about to change. Y'all gonna love it. I literally just recorded a whole video talking to y'all. This shit was not recorded. Bro. Oh like, man! What the what the Okay. That's the worst. It's good though. So, like I was saying, I'm gonna start over from the jump. It might sound better this time. You feel me? It might sound better this time. I'll see. I got my love. My little wind. Mm -mm. mm -mm. I don't want that shit. That look dry. Mm -hmm. That's That's I, mm. Y'all, I used to love Wendy's, but that bread. Let me let me show y'all what I'm talking. It might sound better this time. I'll see. I got my love. My little wind. Mm -hmm. So. Bread used to like be soft and like it wasn't no extra flakes going on with the bread. Y'all see this right here? Like that shit thick now to the point where when you bite into it, you feel the thickness of that bread. And I don't like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that at all. It's like they didn't toast it. No, nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. So I don't be eating that shit no more. I just thought that y'all should know. Mm. <laughs> I love chicken sandwich. Mm. 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 I just wanted to pop on here and talk to y'all on a few subjects. You feel me? Just a few. Just by myself. I feel like I never chatted up with my family. Like, we don't never have no one-on-one -on -one just talking and vibing. Y'all, not that juice me? I just drank got me. I got a shit. Yeah. I kind of got a... <sighs> I feel like that's really important because y'all get to know me like on a different intimate level and a different vulnerable ass level when I get to talk to y'all type shit. And I'm going to chat up with y'all. Y'all know how to keep this shit fun. Life is going to like it. Reality is going to, you know what I'm saying? Reality. You scrape your knee, get your ass back up. Put a band-aid over that shit. Knee is spawn, peroxide, some shit. Get over First thing first, y'all always ask advice on YouTube. What I got to do to get my YouTube channel popping, get my numbers up, how to become popular. Listen, y'all, I'm not gatekeeping. I'm not lying. I'm not capping. It's like... The shit not rocket science, but the shit do take time. You feel me? The first two things you gonna need is self-motivation and dedication. And I mean Thanks. dedication to every damn thing, bruh. From getting up in the morning to creating Thanks. a time schedule to Thanks. creating content to coming up with... I gotta get up in the morning. That's the only thing I need to work on. <laughs> new ideas to finding out your niche, what work for you, what don't work for you, what your viewers like, what they do. Is it niche or niche? Y'all let me know. Don't like. That's the dedication I'm talking about. Because people just feel like, oh, I'm dedicated. I am making content. I do. You dropping a video it's once fun. every two months. It's too many creators on a platform. You gotta be real consistent on this shit. That's the third one I was gonna say. But see, it came out so quick. You gotta be consistent on the platform, bro. Motivation, dedication, and goddamn consistency. Self-motivation. 
motivation at that. Self motivation. That's because it. This is not a nine to five. You gotta Talk be self motivated to get up every Facts. single day and create yourself Facts. a time schedule every single day. If you ain't gonna put out a video every day, stop wasting your own time. Uh, YouTube algorithm is like, you feed me one day, okay, okay. Feed me again, okay. Let me give you something now. As soon as you stop, it stop giving you what you need. I'm telling you. Hopefully that was good. They can make content. <laughs> I tell everybody you need to make content every single day. That's your job. If I'm a nurse, I go to my job every single day and I treat patients. If I work at a nursing home, I get up and I go treat my patients. If I'm a teacher, I go to the school and I teach the students. You feel me? You got to create yourself a schedule. You got to stay self-motivated, dedicated, because ain't nobody going to tell you to do this shit but you. You got to get up off your ass. There's too many Facts. creators on the platform, man. You got to flood. Not when I say flood, but upload consistent. Consistent, every day. consistent, consistent. Day. Create yourself a schedule. If you still are working a nine to five you're obviously gonna have to create yourself a time schedule to create content and upload around your work schedule until you know what i'm saying whatever pop off for you and take off pop off for you and take off but to the people who ain't got nothing but time in the world and you feel me you ain't got no nine to five you just want to be a content creator and you got time my nigga you should have been winning you should have been up there Chris, Where you better you get going? to it i mean you're not getting up every day and being consistent on something you're not getting up every day and filming you're not getting up every day it don't make sense like if we didn't get up and film every day that wouldn't be work like you know I'm saying like this wouldn't be a a thing you know but it's definitely a thing editing you obviously not putting Thank the content you, out there bro you gotta create yourself an algorithm like people be thinking i'm gatekeeping or any other youtubers gatekeeping if you ask me this shit is so mm -mm. simple but yet it's hard it's like the best of both worlds simple but hard definitely try to come up with fresh ideas definitely try to you do, know do, do in the chat. surround Did yourself you with other people that do the same shit as you and that's real shit you see doctors surround themselves with doctors lawyers surround themselves with lawyers most entertainment people surround themselves with entertainment people that's why you see the actors and rappers and basketball players they all hang out and they go to the yacht party because they're surrounding themselves with people that do the same thing as them. Why am I hanging around niggas who don't do shit all day with their life if I want to do something with mine? That's the best way to put it. Why be around niggas who doing the worst, my nigga, when you want to do something different? You can't be around the niggas that's trapping and scamming and shit all day. You got to go make your country. You got to get away from that. You feel me? There may be your day ones. There may be your dolls from pre-K. You know what I'm saying? But listen, mm -hmm. sometimes the type of people, they be tunnel vision. They're stuck in one lane. They only want to do this. They only want to do that. You have to surround yourself with people who bigger than you too. So you could get Facts. motivated and you could take in their wisdom and shit too. Like Facts. I always want to be in a room with somebody bigger than me, bro. Cause you could always learn. You don't never stop learning. Every Facts. day you're going to get up and learn something either about yourself or the people around you or your mom, them or anything. Every day you're going to get up and you're going to learn something new. And that's real shit, bro. Facts. Everybody to win around me, bro. Whether she I don't said fuck that. with you no more or I fuck with you, your friend associate i want everybody to win around me bro real spiel like my bad y'all cash was going crazy but like i said self-motivation self-dedication consistency finding yourself some great ideas and finding your own niche keeping your own personality like i say if it work with somebody else it could work for you just use your own sauce on it throw your own characteristics Facts. your own personality on it you feel me do not try to be exactly like no other creator do not go in you gotta be yourself bro. Got to. you definitely gotta be yourself now let's get to topic number two that i want to to discuss forgiveness you know what i'm saying forgiveness bro you gotta forgive yourself you gotta forgive your past you gotta forgive the people that surround you that you feel like fucked you over and all that you gotta forgive but you know what i'm saying you don't gotta forget i had to learn not to hold grudges like for real for real like all that shit i don't do that no more man if you feel like we got bad blood we don't i'm only in competition Dante. with myself all i Dante. see is me you feel me every day Facts. i wake up in the mirror and all i see is me how can you make yourself better Facts. Mm -hmm. she talking that shit boy never tell y'all something because y'all love to say I'm beefing. I ain't beefing with a soul. Do you hear me? Not one. Okay. I want everybody to win. I always wanted everybody to win. That was always the goal. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to any and everybody I've worked with, you know. But uh, listen, y'all. People separate, and that's okay. But I forgive all. And I hope everybody forgive me. Whether they do or if they don't, life goes on. And we're going to keep it moving, baby. But I barely eat beef. Ain't none. 
know what I'm saying? How can you be a better person? How can your heart Facts. grow more and more and more genuine? That's how I look at myself every day. How can you work harder? How can you get more successful? How can you put your business on a three times pedestal? That's how I wake up, bro. I don't even wake up at nine and ten no more. Y'all wake up at six, seven in the morning. Like y'all, I gotta work on that shit. The bitches, I, got, I don't go to sleep with a different bitch every night. I got my little one shorty. Yeah, yeah. I don't sit up in my house and my bed and my room and go to sleep and pick up different bitches every night. I don't do that, bro. Hell no, my nigga. I was sleeping this bed five times, six times, seven times a week by myself before I do some shit like that. You gotta learn how to self love yourself, bro. You Facts. gotta learn how to be by yourself. Like y'all be thinking I don't be. You know what I need to learn to take my ass to sleep. When I learn that, hey I'm man, a, hallelujah. I'm gonna be a beast. Say it. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to go to sleep tonight. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow at 6. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what's going to happen. Like I said. Uh. I'm going to sleep. Mm. So what y'all do? So you gotta really know how to love yourself and be selfish tonight. Some real shit, y'all. Family could drain you, friends could drain you, people problems can drain you when you ain't even finished up with your own problems yet or going through your own shit. Listen, you gotta learn how to be selfish, love yourself, and take time to yourself. Y'all think just because I live with all these people stuff, I'm not in nobody face all day, every day. Yeah, we work, but my nigga, after work. People disperse. People go into doing their own thing. People okay. got their own life. People got their own relationships, girlfriends, okay. shorties, whatever they do in their own time schedule. So I have okay. a lot of time to think. I've been single for a couple months now. This is about the longest I've been single, bro. I met Tay when I was 20. She was 18. We was in a relationship for three years. After that, I got single. I was single for a few months. Then I hopped back in another relationship for two years. This is the most, like, free I've ever been. And I'm going to keep it that way. Like you, Damn, mm -hmm. that nigga was in a relationship with Crystal for two years? Dang. <laughs> That's crazy. Learn yourself. That's what I've been doing over these last couple Ooh, months. I've been really learning uh, myself. The more alone you uh, are with yourself, the more you start learning every day. Shit that you do like, shit that you don't like. You stop putting up with certain shit, bro. You stop giving reactions to certain shit. That's how I know that I'm growing. Like, certain shit that used to bother me, it don't bother me no more. Certain shit that used to get me riled and get my reaction, it don't even... I, I don't give a damn. Okay. Do you hear me? I be like, what are you even talking about? Listen. Did you drop off the deposit? I don't care about the rest of this. Get that out of my face, bro. I ain't even worried about I that, swear. bro. Get all. Like, go ahead. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get the fuck on. On some real shit. And another thing, bro, stop trying to attach my name to anybody. I am single. I am vibing. I am chilling. I am dating. I am having fun. I'm not with nobody. I don't have no girlfriend or none of that, y'all. I am vibing, having fun, bro. Just like any other regular person in the world. I just want to chill and vibe, bro. I almost forgot. You know what I'm saying? I almost slipped my mind, but it did it. It did it. Y'all gotta stop the cap, bro. I would never talk to any of my ex friends. I don't know what them little blog pages talking about. Y'all talking about I'm dating or I'm talking to Crystal friend, bro. Come on, bro. I would never do that to her, bro. Like, stop playing with me, bro. They may got yeah. the same common friends or know somebody who knows somebody, but trust me, bro. I would never ever step on her toes and talk to her friends, bro. Like, yeah. come on, stop being weird. Stop trying to make storylines and false allegations, bro. Like, don't mm -hmm. be like that. Come on, this week. And that's another thing that I don't do, okay? That's that's the type of shit that I had you have an issue with a person. I have never made up a storyline on this platform, and I never will. It ain't that deep to me. Whatever y'all got going on, I'm going to talk about that shit, though. Period. I'm not talking to none of my ex's friends. Like, that's weird. They may know a couple of the same people or something like that, but I'm not talking to none of Crystal's friends. Let's get that clear and understood. I respect her too much. It's boundaries at points, P. All right? I just wanted to clear that up. I clear that up. I'm just having fun, though. Like, on some real shit. I don't try to stop trying to put me with people. All these goddamn extra ass storylines for no reason. Anybody I'm kicking it with or talking to have no relations to my ex. Wash my hands with that. It's clean. You I'm feel a, me? That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get back to what I had to take me one. Mm -hmm. hey, bro, but like, no, I'm going to sneak bro, out just... when I need to take me one. Yeah, you always do anyway. Okay, great. Okay. Having fun, dating, bro. I don't have no grudges towards nobody. I want everybody to win, bro. You feel me? Whether you still around me or whether you not still around me, I want you to win, bro. I don't want to see nobody broke down on the ass, none. fucked up, none of that, Facts. none of that at all. Facts. Soil your wings and fly. Sky Whoa. high on God. You can't believe everything you hear in life either, y'all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they sell y'all dreams and shit. I ain't selling nobody no dreams, none of that shit. My name is perfect, but...
the shit don't really stand for perfect. It stand for you are perfect the way you are. Meaning Hello. everybody has flaws. Everybody has fuck up. Everybody come in this world to sin. You're not going to live a perfect life, P. I don't care how Christian you are. You're not going to live a perfect life. Even the church folk got stories. Even the church folk got sin. Even the church folks can feel on their knees time after time. I grew up in a church, bro. I did church choir, plays, Easter speech to Christmas speech, choir rehearsal every Saturday, Bible school. I did Bible summer school, church lock-ins, bro. Like, yes, I was a real church church baby bro i got baptized when i was like nine with five of my cousins bro we never missed hey. a church service you feel me they had us there every sunday like real talk i ain't gonna lie them was kind of the most fucked up people that i used to see like people used to be stealing from the church how is y'all getting into it over i'm trying to tell you Mm. Got the best cars. Why do y'all care who's dressed the best at church? All the shit that didn't make sense to me. And it still don't make sense to me. Like, mm. I used to see so much weird shit, y'all, at church. It don't make no sense. Like, for real. You would think that when people try to hide everything. That's really where they go showing. But I just want to get on here and chat with y'all, like, on some real shit. Like, I've been growing mentally, and I'm just, like, happy where I'm at. Like, no cap. Like, my mental, y'all. This is just the best I done felt in a long time. I feel so clear. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm obligated to nobody or to nothing. I just feel so clear and so free y'all i just Here. feel so happy bro like on some real shit like god is good if y'all know how like far out in god came, is great bro, god is good like i want the people who have a real hard time explaining how they feel and their emotions and shit and sometimes like when i have high emotions and it's hard for me to explain certain shit i just run away and i was doing it a lot a lot a lot when i was younger like for real for real i would run away from my problems but i was like fuck it it's cool i just didn't know how to explain my emotions you know what i'm saying at all it's just not something i was taught as a kid i grew up with a lot of love around me but like nobody really used the word I love you and shit. Like the most love I ever felt was from my grandma. She would always kiss on me and just hug on me and just tell me she loved me and my papa too. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit was kind of rare for me from my parents type shit. Like very rare. Like the I love you words. We have our love though. Like we definitely do love each other. I know my parents love the hell up out of me. You know what I'm saying? From my biological parents to my stepmom on some real shit. I just never grew Thanks. up like that. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm getting older, bro, I'm starting to experience certain shit. And I'm, and I'm starting to let certain bad habits just, you know what I'm saying? Go. Just go like you know mm. what i'm saying even though i grew up that way i'm trying to break that cycle i'm trying to break mm. that curse so i'm mm. starting to open up more and that's why i came over and talked to y'all like y'all don't get videos like this out of me bro i don't sit up here and set the camera up and chit chat but i just feel good today and i feel confident enough to just come over here and talk to y'all and just open up to y'all and just chat man watch who around you watch your inner circle watch your outer circle watch everything and watch everybody bro you gotta put in the universe what you want to get back man. i mean if you wake up with positive energy the lord in the universe is going to give you just that if you wake up with negative energy and you're just a negative of Nancy that's exactly how your day going to go okay Facts. but look I just want to hop on here talk to y'all chat I love y'all we gonna end the video like this you know what I'm saying we gonna end it like this let me know if y'all want me to talk to y'all more and just speak about different what Dutch shit, ass man. you know what I'm saying don't let okay. no relationship hold you back this was good this was awesome do not let nobody stop your money on because if it ain't no money on ain't no fun on. Hello. So okay come on now talk about it help broken people that you forget to help yourself you got to help you out you got to want the best for you you got to get your ass up every day and do shit for you be a little selfish it's okay it's okay I'm telling you I'm telling you it's okay it is Without the money, I love y'all. I love y'all. Ain't no do money. Stay Come tuned for more bangers on the way. I just wanted to get on here and chat with y'all once again. I love y'all, man. Stay tuned. We out. That was a good video. That was a good video. I like that. Yeah. It's the guy. It's the growth. It's the prosperity. Great goddamn video. Okay. It's the manifestation. Yeah. It's the. You know what I said? God is greatness. Mm -hmm. All right. We want y'all to know that we're growing a lot as well. And uh, things are, child, I probably feel the best I've ever felt. Moving and grooving. In years as well. Um, Health-wise, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with me and food. Outside of that, life is great. We gonna get it together. Okay. You get older, you got to make better uh, food choices. Okay. I can't sit there and eat Wendy's like Jazz doing right can't now. Can't do it. Uh, can't even have it. It was dry as hell. She was listening. It was dry as hell. Choke. It was dry as hell. Uh, okay. I can't have none of that orange drink. If I could have an egg, I really would, but I can't necessarily no. do that either. No. But anyway, that's that's besides the fried chicken. I can't even get no Popeye. That's no. besides the point. <laughs> mm -mm. Y'all just saw. Uh, yeah. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, God is great, man. She absolutely right. We get up every day and bust our ass, okay? Um, and yeah, one thing I need to do is wake up earlier, and I'm gonna get that done tomorrow. Scouts honor. You gonna wake me up, honey? That? See? You gonna wake me up?
I gotta wake up. You gonna wake me up, honey sauce? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.